So when the Steam Deck came around, obviously that would have gotten a lot of attention onto Lutris as well. So what was that sort of... Like, how, how much extra attention did Lutris started getting? How many people did you get just not understanding what the project was altogether? Think, just what was the general experience like when that, that came around for you? Um... A little bit stressful, to be honest, because uh, at the beginning I was like, oh, the Steam Deck is being released and I don't have a Steam Deck. I don't have a way to test on the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. And that was when I had to I reached out to Valve and they, they did send, send me like a, a dev kits. Oh, wow. So yeah. I was like, OK, cool. Now I can progress on Lutris on the Steam Deck. I think the, the, the first version of Lutris that was shipped on the Steam Deck was kind of rough mm -hmm. uh, and kind of like pushed a lot of people away. And that's why, I mean, all things considered, there's there are a lot of people using Lutris on the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. But what you will see in the media is not a lot of the time is not centered uh, toward Lutris. You'll have a lot of things that use uh, Emudec, you have a lot of things using Eric, mm -hmm. um, or a lot of things using just plain Steam without using like any kind of other like software. Mm -hmm. So like the Steam Deck gave more exposure also to the, all those other projects. Um, and it's clear that the, the Lutris is still used quite a bit, quite a bit on the Steam Deck, but um, I'm not sure it's increased um, its usage overall, like by a whole lot. I mean, I don't think it was like uh, that much, like if uh, that's noticeable because right. people they wanted if they wanted just Epic Games, they would install Heroic. Um, if they wanted, um, I don't know. I, I know that a lot of people wanted like EA app would just install EA app on, because yeah, it's it's about like if you only care about just one or two games, mm -hmm. then Lutris starts to make less sense. Right. Lutris is really uh, optimized to let you manage your game collection, and that is like a, quite a bit of a large collection. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, yeah, you still have the, the convenience of being able to install games like really easily, like in a few clicks. Mm -hmm. You have a, like an install script and, and all of that. But <laughs> it's not that hard, yeah, to install EA app just on Steam or install mm -hmm. like doing the same thing on on uh, Heroic. Heroic will save you the, the trouble of installing an extra launcher. So you only need Heroic. You don't mm -hmm. need the... Epic, Epic Game Store. Right. You only need that. So yeah, um, Lutris was always uh, focused on making the original launchers work. I mean, mm -hmm. not for GOG because I mean we can like bypass GOG Galaxy, but uh, in the case of um, Epic, I mean especially since we received a donation from Epic for bringing the epic game store to linux wait what i i didn't hear about this i was uh about like we received like the epic mega grants oh uh, in 2019 and that was i mean we had like some discussions with um with the team of uh, the uh, unreal engine team and it was very clear that i received that that grant because uh lutris was able to to run like the epic game store mm -hmm. If it was a re-implementation of the Epic Game Store, that would maybe be different. Mm -hmm. uh, but what they wanted was the actual Epic Game Store running on Linux, and mm -hmm. that was why they gave the grant. So um, I wasn't going to say, OK, I'll take your money, but then I'm going to replace your your store with another like open source launcher. Right. That wouldn't make like a lot of sense. And especially, I was also glad that since a lot of people would ask for that, a lot of people would ask for an open source representation. I was glad that Eric came along and and did that, just as like the same thing as Bottles did the same thing with 
the wine manager that it didn't want to implement. Mm -hmm. I yeah, yeah I, I must good, have yeah. completely missed that story when that happened. Then, uh, uh, yeah, it was like in 2019, mm. uh, like in the mid 2019, I think. Uh, and like Linux was starting to get pretty big, but it wasn't like as big as now because. Do you remember what year like, the Steam Proton Deck was? wasn't? Uh, 2018. Right. Or okay. So it was like just after like Linux game was starting to become like a an actual platform that. You could obviously wine was there for a long time before, but yeah, having but before, Proton they made it a lot easier. So, so that's yeah, having Proton and before Proton having DXVK. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was oh, a, DXVK there was, was massive, uh, yeah, yeah. Be it, there, there was like a, a little, like a few months with where DXVK was a thing and Proton was not yet a thing, mm. and that was my initial surprise. I mean, it was like more of a surprise than team os or the steam deck that was like the biggest surprise that was proton because that was basically doing what lutris did for like uh, the past several years but in steam which is not on like a small open source project like lutris was which is like massive game launcher used by millions mm -hmm. and i was like at that point i was like so much like working on like Stability is like making some things more stable, and I was like, "How is it possible that a big company is using that solution?" Because it's, in my eyes, it was not stable enough. Mm -hmm. We we're not ready yet. But what I didn't know was that Val was was going to put an enormous amount of resources into those all those projects. They would push like the wine development. They would push the uh, DXVK development. They would push like Mesa development even. So even the, the drivers at the driver level, they they would bring improvement in gaming. And that I wasn't aware of that because if they were just going to take wine at the state at that point in time and DXVK at that point in time, I was like, that's crazy because it's good. I mean, I enjoy it's it's enjoyable that they they're like taking that into consideration mm -hmm. but it's like also kind of a crazy idea because it's very like uh, almost a tinker toy at this point mm -hmm. and and for a big company like valve doing the same thing as we were doing it was seemed like out of this world so uh, and it did in the end it would turn out really great because um this meant that we got all the improvements from valve into Lutris as well. So every like GOG game, every Epic game, every Ubisoft game would benefit from those improvements uh, done by Valve. Yeah, it's great that they didn't try to do something themselves. Like that, you know, you, that's what you expect most companies to do. They'll like come into a space and be like, okay, you guys are doing your thing over there, but yeah, we're not going to do that. Like we, maybe yeah. we'll, we'll take that project and then make like a proprietary fork of it. No, no, they didn't. They just... Well, like, okay, we're going to be good members of the open source space. We're going to contribute back upstream. We're going to do our thing and make everything just generally better. And that's that's really mm -hmm. surprising that it happened. But I'm I'm happy that it has, and I'm happy that it's just it wasn't just like a short term project. Like they are very committed to doing this, and you know, with the Steam Deck coming out, it seems like they're committed for, like, the long term here. This isn't just, you know, a one-time project that they're going to mm -hmm. ditch after it's done. Or even going back to, like, the, the original SteamOS, like, Proton is sort of a continuation of that project. Obviously, it's a whole different thing, but it's still that, like, same idea of trying to make Linux a legitimate gaming platform. Yeah. It's just now they have a much better approach to it, and it seems like... I, I I hope that, you know, nothing happens with Valve management where they decide they want to ditch this project because what they've done is turned an OS that you could game on if you had a lot of technical knowledge and you knew how to configure Wine and do all of this to a platform that you can just, for many games, just click play and you don't have to think about anything. Maybe you need to run a different Proton version. Maybe you need, like, like a, a single option to include but a lot of games mm -hmm. don't even need that you just run it and it just works and that's that's not something that could have been said you know five six plus years ago 